talk about dragons. Mm -hmm. I know I have dragons in my life and so and they're coming into my client's life. Mm -hmm. I hear about dragon eggs also. Um, so, but I don't really understand their position. Mm -hmm. So, um, what can dragons do that the other beings that we work with cannot do? What's the difference? What is their specialty? Dragons are ethra dimensional, is the word I just got. Uh, mm -hmm. They are ethra dimensional, therefore, they can move in and out of portals and realms that are constrained within the rules that were placed long ago when the original timelines and original dimensions were created. We are now in a time where the rules do not exist, but still most of the beings are held in place by various contracts and con... 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 con <laughs> let me say it! Constitutions! <laughs> Contracts and constitutions that prevent them from moving within the lines of reality. However, dragons are older than these so-called uh, restrictive covenants that have been that have been placed on Earth. Therefore, they can exist within the fabrics of the various dimensions and realms and timelines. This makes them, um, uh, in a way although we do not like to use hierarchy in terms of power, one may perceive that dragons could be more powerful than other entities, although it's not that they are more powerful, they are just different. That is excellent. They are more helpful to what's happening right now. I can see, yeah, so much of humanity is bound through all trauma and contracts, yeah? and so now the dragon energy is really needed. Mm -hmm. So now, what is the thing with um, you know dragon eggs? You know? Um, what is the mechanism here? <laughs> they just showed me. Fuck's sake! They just made me laugh so that I'm a better channel. But they just showed me a dragon, like a machine gun, uh, shoot an egg out of Earth, like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck's sake. Uh, okay, what are of these dragon eggs? Um, we will not be able to give you the full picture at this time. However, we will try and explain in a way that your <laughs> thanks, guys, that your teeny Earth brains can perceive some of what is happening. The Earth is being seeded uh, with thousands of light crystals, thousands of new portals, and thousands of energy streams. Dragon eggs are just part of this process. Um, those of you who were incarnated with the dragons as dragons uh, from the beginning of time will be able to tap into these streams of consciousness, these streams of energy coming through to Earth as you perceive them as dragon eggs, helping you seed new life and new vibrations within this Earth plane. Um, this is just another form of light codes being seeded into the earth as there is many, many, many different forms that they can take. However, this is also bringing through more multidimensional beings, more strands of the great oversoul of the universe, more strands of source incarnating and seeding them within the earth planes to help with this next level of ascension. These dragons come with many gifts, skills and abilities, and there will always be a trade off for anyone who wishes to call on and assist these dragons. Um, unfortunately, at this time, there this is limited to those channels and multidimensional humans who have done enough of the work to welcome back enough of their soul and also were incarnated with the dragons when they were released. Thank you. Now, um, what the you know what happens when a human, let's say, you know, invites, you know, for dragon eggs to come, you know, makes himself as an instrument, how does it affect the humans? If <laughs> they cannot invite us, we must invite them. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, we, must, we must choose our channels carefully for choosing a channel too soon on their journey. Um, can cause our energy to fragment and so uh, come through 
distorted into this earth plane there is enough there is enough distortion going on in the earth we do not wish to add to this so please uh, indeed we are asking that this transmission is shared and anyone who is watching this and wondering if the dragons do not love you because you are inviting them in and they are not coming this is not the case it is just a case uh, in a case that your vibrational field and frequency is not set up in a way that we can yet arrive or indeed we are not part of your soul's matrix you may still call upon us as guides but not everyone can be an incarnation for the light to come through in dragon form mm -hmm. so let's see if somebody you know um, gets the yes you know, and you invite this person you know how would they know that they're you know are carrying dragon eggs what are the symptoms uh, there are no symptoms that the knowing comes from your so-called psychic channel these people will be told usually physically where possible through uh, through channeling through psychic reading psychic messages um, we cannot incarnate with anyone who has not fully realized and opened up their psychic channel to communicate in this way for it would not be proper for they would not understand and therefore be able to consent to everything that's going to happen in, uh, let's say how many of humanity have been incarnated you know as dragons before uh, 180,000 108,000, something like that. Oh, 108, that's, um, you know, a divine number. 180,000. Mm -hmm. So something in that neighborhood. Mm -hmm. they, said, what, they said ballpark. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Mm -hmm. although, and, although I remember that many of these humans will, will share souls, and it is the souls that was incarnated as a dragon, not the not the human so there is a great deal less when you think about it in terms of soul and over soul rather than specific human incarnations but this is where it gets a little tricky for our uh, your human brains to to grasp the concept so we bring you a very human number yeah so um, you know there are overlays of dragon energy over human you know incarnated as well mm -hmm. And so um, how, you know, uh, let's say if you have this past incarnation, then what does this, how does this make this human different? You know, what special gifts do they have? They will be fantastic multidimensional workers, healers, dreamers and weavers. Hmm. Hmm. And these, these are the uh, humans responsible for weaving the fabrics of the new world into existence. They come in many forms, although many of them will be drawn to the psychic arts such as channeling and so-called psychic reading and healing, shamanism, working with plants, working with animals, working with spirits, working with angels, working with the land. Many, 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 many of our um, incarnated dragon folk work with the land as part of the land, living closely with the land, as these are more connected with the dragon uh, the dragon leaders of the earth, of the old earth, those dragons that never left, those dragons that have always existed within the earth and are indeed waking up and coming back to this realm. The dragons that are being seeded on the earth are co cosmic and galactic dragons. These come through your star seeds. Those of you who have enough of your soul's makeup made up of not just dragon energy, but energy from other solar systems, other planets and other stars. It is important that there is an intricate mix of energy in your soul's matrix to be able to connect with galactic and uh, galactic and cosmic soul dragons. Thank you. So um, it looks like the, the dragons they stand so far outside of time. You know that a lot of the laws in, in contracts that have been put onto humanity and on beings here being in this earth realm do not you know apply to them so um, let's take advantage of this and let's ask them you know to clear from us you know, any of those restrictions that our high self you know would like to have cleared from our soul you know, as much as possible our high self lets them know <laughs> you know what it wants to have clear we give permission you know, and they can go ahead and clear so we can have maximum progress. Amen. 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 Thank you for asking for this. Oh, yeah. And for everybody that's listening to this, you just agree to this. Mm -hmm. 
of course, we ask that this all happens for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, Amen. We also suggest that you can ask and give permission for and therefore lead other people to ask and give permission for the unseeding of any dark arts, dark magic and sabotage that dis that has disconnected people from their dragon incarnations and indeed blocked off their incarnation tunnels to prevent them from earthing and birthing more dragons into this uh, earth realm. And yes, I agree to this, you know, the like to have the in interference of the dark side clear on all levels of my being. Yeah? Actually, we like to have our dark and light integrated so we can transcend duality, you know, ultimately. Um, um, um. <laughs> we can ask one more question through this channel. Huh? <laughs> 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 ah, ah. Thanks, guys. So one more. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, those people that are listening to this, um, of course, they can invite, you know, the dragons to assist them. So what, again, do you suggest that we ask the dragons in which way to assist them, you know, for maximum benefit? They're showing me um, leaving piles of rocks in the garden, like building little rocks uh, as like a, almost like a home for the dragon's uh, energy. Um, and calling on them, uh, calling on them that way. Uh, they're showing me they've just gone into. It. I think that my uh, my chan my physical channel is getting tired for them trans channeling. They're showing, uh, they're showing me calling in, um, calling in galactic dragons. Just so anyone watching this, basically, who is a multi-dimensional channel, whether you're a psychic, whether you connect in uh, meditation, healing, whatever your modality is connect with the divine to set that up get into spirit mode channel whatever and just call on your um call in and ask to meet your guardian dragons your gateway dragons your higher self dragons your cosmic and galactic dragons any dragon brothers and sisters um any earth guardians uh, and any um any inner earth dragons also so be all those different ones to just have a go at calling on uh, maybe write that down and call the different ones in see see what comes through you may um you may connect with one first of all uh and then the rest will come through the first time i connected with dragons it was through healing and journeying so doing like a shamanic journey or a soul journey astral travel that sort of stuff um to connect with the dragons um will work that way also doing any sort of healing you can always call on dragon energy to help you with that as well all right so we ask now the dragons to please you know nourish us and those people that are listening but especially natty here who they have a life for us mm -hmm, to soup us up you know with the most divine beneficial energies for us amen you know the listeners can agree mm -hmm. <laughs> they're flying away <laughs> there is when we first when you first started talking about them it was like so many dragons came and it's like their faces were all over my laptop like hanging their heads over like what are we doing hi 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 and then they they all just went whoosh. so they didn't want to super us up yeah Kiaratuk uh, is the dragon that is uh, tethered to me always and then my higher self dragon they're still kind of hanging around my higher self dragon appears to be having a nap <laughs> Okay, so ask what they tell you. You know, they didn't want to give blessings, or it's already done. I mean, let's see. They're just, they're just done. They, they, they don't fuck about. They, when, when they, they'll come in, um, like, as opposed to a lot of other guides who just kind of come when they call. Like dragons, they, they'll come on their own time. <laughs> they, they will, and, yeah. and they're, when they're done, they'll let you know that they're done. Uh, they're very, they're very kind of straightforward. So they're just. It's it's not uh it doesn't mean that they love you any less than other guides or anything. That's just they're just straight with you. They're like we came in, we gave you everything you could handle. There's no need for us to be anymore. We're gone. Yeah, very practical. You know? Not very sentimental as such. All right. Um. So those people that have been listening here, you know, so Natty is sometimes available. <laughs> <laughs> You know, just to get in touch with her, you know, this will be, you know, below and the contact information. And I do this professionally, you know, ask questions and keep space and 
and does amazing multi-dimensional healing that also helps you open up your abilities so we do very similar things but work in very different ways uh and it's worth working with as many different healers as you can because they all have different skills and abilities um and i also have my course anyone who wants to learn to channel if you're feeling the call to open up and go through a full psychic development psychic awakening i have a course that puts you through about six months of intense awakening in eight weeks so it's not for the faint-hearted it will transform you very quickly but expect lots of purging so yeah all the information of that will be below as well <laughs> yeah yeah we both you know we don't mess around you know tippy footing around no no he got heavy duty <laughs> yeah i mean once you're yeah, you know you're on the path let's crack the fuck on <laughs> <laughs> yeah intense yeah <laughs> All right. Ooh, good. Ooh. Um, just uh, call it, thank you for the angels guide to divine light beings who assist us today. Please only uh, close any portals that opened up, especially any dragon portals that opened up. Make sure that nothing came through that wasn't invited. If anything did come through that was uninvited, please send it back with love. Um, calling on Isis and Iris to give us both a full chakra alignment right now. <laughs>